R R R or Triple R or Rise Row Revolt, the real name of the movie, which no one says, is a Tollywood movie directed by S. S. Rajamouli, the director of Dalbali, and he did a phenomenal job with this movie. This movie is about two characters, Beam and Ram who are real freedom fighters during the 1920s and they didn't meet in real life so the writers and the directors got to stretch their hands and well they did stretch their hands and now this movie i have to say is over the top in terms of everything be it action be it drama be it story bits whatever it is they always ups the ante by doing some stuff and there is a scene where the character Ram Raju he fights at least thousand people to catch one fucking guy who threw a rocket someone's portrait now which was just there to show their strength power but one thing I do enjoy about this is they believe in themselves like you know self where movies like spider-man making fun of them cuz that's funny I mean people think that they think that and hence this is funny but RRR action set pieces are over the top and the movie makes it feels like this is possible in the universe it is set in so as it believes in itself the viewers also believe in it now if i go into a little bit of religious depth ram is a character who is the main protagonist of ramayan and beam is also a religious character he is also one of the protagonists of of mahabharat so yeah these two names does have religious or historic significance as well as these are real freedom fighters so this is like a historical fan fiction and i have no problem with that. Before moving on, I'd like you to subscribe and do all the things all other YouTubers ask you to do while I complete the video. If not, I have to ask you for all the cheap plugins. Now yes, this movie does have a little bit of pacing issue because the, the title card RRR is shown at least 30 minutes or 40 minutes into the movie. So yeah, title card shows up at a little less than an hour. And you cannot complain about that because this was done to do the characterization. The movie is more than 3 hours long. They could have gone away with chopping up 30 or so minutes but that would have been a bad service because I have been hooked to the set for the whole 3 hours. Now yeah I watched it on Netflix the Hindi version which is also dubbed by the real actors. So I guess I'm not missing too much but if anyone comments me I should watch it on the real language well I would watch it and please tell me where to watch it because I would love to see their emotion because at times the the actors feels a bit stiff now that doesn't seem jarring which you would agree to me if you aren't blinded away by the greatness of this movie because this movie is absolutely great like I had some problem written as notes but after watching the movie I feel like those doesn't matter because this movie does what it wants to do it wanna tell an emotional over the top action movie like the main characters are simply like superheroes but this movie took it and dials it up to 11 and I have seen sites like Screen Rant and different Hollywood reporting websites are praising this movie. Do you realize if a Hollywood movie shows their male counterparts doing so much greatness? Well, I don't think that this same site should say that because last time I was watching this type of masculine behavior from a Hollywood movie, it was titled as toxic masculinity but here they are pressing it maybe they don't want to sound racist anyway all politics stuff aside the people in the u.s are loving it not because it's absolutely amazing but because this is something enjoyable and who doesn't want to enjoy a good movie and one thing i might say that english people might not like this movie because this is done during british occupied india and the britishers are shown to be like absolute assholes and indians are the good guys and british are the bad guys and british did everything bad in this movie is so i would have liked if they would show some british character does a little good stuff now yes there is a character called jenny who is Beam's love interest I guess but still I mean it shown to be like completely black and white and we know there is something in between overall and for a movie if you ask me I'm definitely going to recommend you it's much better than the MCU or the DCEU bullshit they're putting out I mean you are going to enjoy this if you enjoy superhero movies 